Hey ya, I'm Armin from Placid and in this video we will learn how we can create on-brand video ads for real estate listings out of an existing video or out of static property images. Real estate agents manage a lot of marketing activities by themselves. They have to prepare a sales kit for every object including brochures, flyers and ads across different platforms. It takes a lot of time and often even some design skills to create those things. That's why it's a great idea to have a look at creative automation. Together with Placid, you can streamline the creation of creatives and take a lot of repetitive work off of your shoulders. Let's check out how that works. Let's start by adding a new project. So when you're in your Placid account, you can just hit add new project, give it a name, real estate ads. Uh, for this tutorial, we're going to pick the studio integration. So this one is, is activated by default on every uh, uh, Placid project, so you don't have to add any other integration for now. After the project got created, we can already create a new template. This template will hold your design, your layers, your fields, everything that you need uh, and can be customized totally to your brand. So I will search for a preset now in our real estate category. Let's pick this one. After creating it, uh, you will automatically uh, be thrown in our editor. And as you can see, you can add uh, multiple different layers, as many texts or images as you like, uh, uh, rating controls, QR codes, everything that you want in any size that you want and totally customizable. Uh, so you can make sure that, that the creative looks like your brand. And now after we have our design ready, we want to add some movement. And to do that, uh, right in our template editor, you can go to the video settings panel right here and hit configure animations. This will bring up our animation wizard that will already greet you with some predefined effects that we have, like this one. Uh, you can you can select whatever you like, for example, a slide in. You can say if it's it should be an enter or exit or enter and exit animation. Let's see, then we have an enter and exit. By default, it's staggered, so this means like uh, every layer comes in with a little bit of delay. Yeah, it looks nice. Let's go with slide and enter. Then in the next step, uh, we can customize the animation for every layer even further. So you can say uh, exactly uh, how much delay should the layer have before he fades in or fades out, how long should it be visible, everything that, uh, uh, that, that, that you would want you can you can define on every layer. You can select different animation types uh, for fade in, uh, for, for the enter animation and the exit animation and really customize it to your liking. Um, our philosophy with, with creating videos is that, or, or video templates or, or video animations for a template is that the video should adapt to your content, which means uh, you define the base animation and, and the base boundaries for your video and depending on the content you give in, we will take care of how long the video should be and then how it should behave. So for example, if, if this is our template and the big uh, uh, photo in the center should be filled with an image, by default this image will be active for as many seconds as you like. For example, in this, in this configuration it would be visible for two seconds. So if you would add in another image, uh, then both of these images would be visible for two seconds, which means the total uh, duration of this video would be around four seconds, not taking into account the, the enter or exit animations. So we, we really try to, to automate it or, or make, make the automation as, as easy as possible for you because you don't want to uh, jump into an editor and a timeline animation for, for every video and every asset that, that you're going to create. You want to have it simple. We, you, you want to save time for, with that. All right, I will stop the recording now and apply uh, a few different settings and uh, I'll see you in a bit. All right, I have added a few customizations so that the layers come in from different directions and, and the logo is bouncing in. Oh no, it's, it's fading in, zooming in. 
and I like it. I like how it looks. I will write down exactly the, the configuration that I've did and add it to the blog post that you can find in the description. All right, and since we have now everything, we have a project, we have a template, we have defined animations on that template, we can start creating videos. Let's head over into the studio component. The Placid Studio allows you to create uh, one-off videos, images, PDFs of your templates. So it makes it really easy to, to get started with, with automating designs and, and using the templates. Uh, as soon as we're in the studio, we are greeted with our template. Let's switch over to video. And you can see a live preview of, of the animations that you have applied, uh, that you have applied and we can already make changes. So the location will be my house <laughs> and you will see it right away, my house, and you can change every one of these dynamic layers. Let's start by adding a video. We go into the photo, to the photo layer panel. The photo layer is the big one here and we are going to upload the video. As soon as it's uploaded, uh, you will see in the preview, uh, in this layer is going to come a video. So we are going to hit create video. And you can see at the bottom, on the latest to the creatives, the video has been queued and it's going to be created now. Meanwhile, this happens, um, we can create a video consisting just of images. Let's upload an image. I have prepared some from Unsplash. First one, let's see. Let's add a second one. And then you can see uh, automatically the length of your video has went up from five seconds to nine seconds because we have now a second image inside of it. So we have now a static slideshow. We have our enter animations. We have the first image, the second image. Pretty cool. But I think this should animate a bit. That would be nicer. So let's head back to templates. Click edit. We are opening up our animations again. And we are going to take the photo layer, the big one here. And I want to have a Ken Burns effect for sure. Yes, this is going to be much better. Also the value transition um, panel, we can, we can apply a, a, like a crossfade between the images. Value transition means uh, the transition from one value to the next. So one image to the next or one text to the next. This is going to look awesome. Going to save it, save it, close. Then we open it up in the studio again. Switch to video and now we just upload again one image. And you can already see in the preview, yes, that we have a Ken Burns effect now. now let's add the second one and a third one. Oh, I have not added a field, so let's add this one. I've just replaced this one now. And you can see again, three images equal now 13 seconds of this video. Yes, Ken Burns. We have a short crossfade. Yeah, it looks beautiful. The location is again, my house. Yes, custom text, custom images. Let's hit create video. Pretty cool, right? And now let's look at the bottom. Ah, yes, we have already created our first video here. We can click here. This is the video where I've uploaded the video into the photo layer. Let's hit play. Ah, yes, perfect. The video length is 10 seconds. This is the, the length of the video that I've supplied. We'll just run through the end. Let's restart. Super cool, super easy. Let's close that. Ah, the second one is already finished in a bit. Let's open it up. 
Yes, we fade in. We have our beautiful image here. It can burn cross fades to, to the next image and then to the last one. It's pretty cool. And from there on, you, you can just use the studio and create your own creatives. You can just hit download and, and create the videos here. You can even create shareable studios. For example, you can hit edit studio settings. You can enable public sharing. Um, then, then you have a link with your studio, which you can pass around uh, in, in your company, in, for your colleagues, for, for everyone to, to create videos, images, PDFs uh, in your branding with, with your content in no time without having to have a, a, a someone who does graphics, without having to have installed all the software. You just need your URL and you're good to go. All right. I hope you liked that. And if you have any feedback and, and anything you want to see next, just let me know. Bye. So. That's it for this automation. You will find a link to our blog post with a step-by-step -step recap of this tutorial in the description. Try it out and tell us what you think.